It's almost ASMR, but it actually might be the opposite of ASMR. This might be... Oh my god. Extremely aggravating sounds. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have a game for you on Port of Hamburg. This is a 3v3 low-level Legends cast. All of these players are roughly level 5, level 6, level 7, which puts them in the bottom 25-30% of uh, players in this game. So this is actually quite a low-level Legends cast here. Um, this is my first time casting a 3v3, so it might get a little bit hectic. Um, <clears throat> let's go with the allies first. We have Mr. Mailman playing the... Wait, sorry, no, it's Mr. Mailman. Mr. Who playing the Brits. We got Mr. Mailman playing the Soviets. And we have Doc playing the Americans. And he's already locked in his heavy cav doctrine. Um... Let's start the Fog of War and check out the Axis. So the Axis, we have Falcon playing Wehrmacht. Mr. Richter, sorry, Herr Richter, Herr Richter, playing the OKW. And, oh, he's already locked in uh, Breakthrough Doctrine. And we have Kofler playing the Wehrmacht as well. So, let's get started. I'm, again, trying to mess with the HUD here, so I'm sorry if I constantly am expanding and... Moving things around here. Just getting used to casting these big team games. So, bear with me. On the east side, we have some pretty movement from the Allies. Gonna need to get in that building, though. MG didn't quite have enough time to get inside the building. It's gonna get called out, probably gonna have to retreat. On the east, the, uh, what is that, east, north, never eat soggy waffles, northwest, <laughs> sorry, northwest of the map, the uh, allies have managed to take the fuel there. In the east, the Axis have managed to hold on to this fuel, the MG did not retreat, it did uh, just back up a little bit. Do have a sniper coming on the field here from Falcon. Um... Let's see what we got in the middle. Tangent Fusiliers. Three squads of them already up here from Herr Richter. Storm Pioneers here dangerously low. Have to retreat. There they do. Lots of MGs, as you would expect in a 3v3 match. What is a 3v3 match without MG spam? Mortar out from Doc. Try to dislodge that MG team from Falcon over there. Seems to be kind of a 1v1 on the east side and a 2v2 on the west side of the map. As these 3v3 maps go sometimes, especially the 3v3 maps that are also 4v4 maps, because they're clearly designed to be 2v2s on both sides of the map. Uh, but in reality, it turns out usually being a 2v2 and a 1v1 for the 3v3 uh, games. We have the first battle group coming out here from uh, Mr. Richter, that first SWS converting to battle group. Which I just realized actually is written battle group in English. I always hear battle group headquarters or whatever when they finish building it, so. I've been using the German, although that's not what's written. These points are eventually going to need to be grabbed by Falcon. Falk? Falcon? Falcon, yes. Sniper on the field getting his first kill. About to get the second. Oh, doesn't have a line of sight though, I guess. Yeah. Mortar's going down the sniper though. Probably needs to re... Uh, replace himself, what's the word there? Uh, move to a new location. Relocate was the word I was looking for. Accomplished. Vickers already on Vet 1, getting access to that take aim ability, which gives them uh, longer sight and accuracy. Sorry, longer range and accuracy and penetration. Some desperation here, trying to dislodge. Oh, what died? 
What died? What died? <laughs> I don't know what died. <laughs> oh god. See, I feel like with 3v3s, I'm going to be constantly looking for whatever squad is getting massacred. We are losing a sector. I think it was a great idea from Falcon. I think, yeah, I still got one great on the field. Must be one of those greats. <gasps> mortar team about to go down. One lucky shot from the mortar could take it out. When I say mortar, I mean MG team. There we go. Gone. The axe is really being pushed down here in the, uh, the west. Lots of MGs out here, just ready to pin down anybody who is even thinks about getting on that fuel. Do we have a Ford assembly? Not quite built. Um, I'm guessing Mr. Who went for. Oh, what did he go for here? He went for the uh, land mattress doctrine, which is mobile assault. That's right, yes. Land mattresses. Hmm. Those were the most annoying units when they first were released. Now they're kind of. I would say underwhelming a little bit, but they're good at area denial, for sure. All is quiet at the moment. Only my annoying voice can be heard. Do I have a fighting position out here from Doc? Ah, yes, another classic 3v3 and 4v4 creation that I rarely see. A nice little position here. Stepping on a box. Very comfortable. Mortar shells raining down. Still, this munitions point has not been captured. That is definitely the sign of a low-level legend cast. Munition is not important. We do not need it. Fuel and stars only. Actually, this is also neutralized here, so... Definitely a little bit of a... Strange choice there not to cap the middle. I guess everybody's been very busy on their fuel points here. Falcon Sniper taking a couple shots, as in being shot. Has arrived. Do you have a 2 2 2 up from Falcon? Falcon? I always call him Falk because it's his name in the Discord. Uh. Yeah, this Ford Assembly is going to be a big pain, although they do go down pretty quick to just a couple AT gunshots or maybe some mortars. Look at all these mortars, though. Look at all these mortars. Why? Answer is because it's a team game on Port of Hamburg. One extra soldier can be added to infantry squads now. Should have known that there was going to be an MG right there. We definitely need to see. Definitely, definitely need to see some smoke here from the Axis. They could definitely. Are we going to see it? No, there is a mortar. It is shooting. It's not shooting smoke. Some officer here trying to force the retreat on the Vickers. Successfully, good. Two over here taking some shots, I guess, from the 50 cal. This is stressful, guys. Watching the Super 3 cast is uh, very stressful. AC getting snared. Questionable grenade from the guards air bar. Maybe got caught on the forward assembly. Sometimes grenades do get stuck on things. Guards Airborne. Pretty cool unit. They have that uh, call-in strafe at uh, Veteran C1. Let's go look at the east of the map here. Stewart up from Dock. Trying to dislodge Falcon. Seems like he might be able to do it. He is forcing a retreat from the Grens. 2-2 two two not fully repaired up. mg 42 taking a couple shots from Stewart. But, pretty safe behind that green cover. It's going to take a while to fully dislodge it. Reloading. Is it loading incendiaries? It is loading incendiaries. That's the reload again. Incendiaries, not particularly effective against the Stuart. Definitely has too much armor, really, to be uh, that effective. The command squad here about to go down. Same thing with that MG. Gets out of there. AC still chilling here. Why is there a second Ford assembly? What? 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 
I could maybe understand that if the forward assembly was from advanced emplacements and they could get repairs, in which case you can't put medics and repairs on the same forward assembly, but why would you want two forward assemblies otherwise? I guess one you can put the forward retreat point on and the other one you can put medics on? I don't know, that seems like overkill to me, especially because you have access to infantry sections, which can also get medics, or you can just build medics from your base. Um, yeah. Mr. Who definitely low on infantry here. All about the forward assemblies, not about the infantry. Down to a single squad of infantry sections and royal recovery engineers. Is putting down a mortar pit. Um, kind of in an annoying spot, actually. I hate it when people build stuff like right here because blocks traffic. Blocks traffic, especially with this forward placements here. Light vehicles are going to have a really hard time maneuvering around this area. He's already brenned up his intersections as well. Lots of questionable choices here. I would definitely have gone with a much stronger core of infantry at the beginning of the game. You don't want to just immediately spam out mortar pits. And if you are going to do that, may as well go advance in placements, in which case you don't actually need to build the engineers, and you can save yourself a little bit of manpower. You have a nice big old blob of Panzer Fusiliers with their Sturm Officer Leader. Falk has been pushed off of this uh, fuel point in the east of the map. Looking to make some moves to get it back, though. The you know, command squad, supported by the sniper and AT gun. Middle finally getting taken here by Herr Richter. We have infantry gun, double infantry guns to deal with these four assemblies. The four assemblies are going to have to spend a huge amount of time repairing, as in the uh, Royal Engineers are going to spend basically their entire game repairing this crap now. Another reason why you don't want to build more than one emplacement, I think, is Brits. Um, because you have to spend a stupid amount of time repairing them. One emplacement is the max. Four assemblies, questionable. Unless you're going for advanced emplacements to get the repairs. I think in most other situations, you don't need them. Oof, sniper really wants to that kill. Ooh, are you see a sliver of health? A sliver needs to pop smoke. Needs to get out. It does not. Yeah, questionable, questionable, questionable choices here from Mr. Who. Down to, oh man, one squad of infantry, one forward assembly, and about to lose the mortar pit here as well. Land mattress crew trained and ready to go. Wait. Okay, that wasn't actually... Wait, did he call in a land mattress? Oh my god, he did. He called in a land mattress. This is... I should make a build order video about this. Double forward assembly into mortar pit into land mattress. Oh, plus armored car, of course. That would be... That's the new meta, guys. That's the new meta right there. Double forward assembly, mortar pit, armored car, land mattress. Can't beat that. Uh, for Mr. Honest Series now, though, please uh, do not emulate this guy's build order. It is an absolute disaster. You need more infantry. You need infantry. Also, these team weapons really need to be either destroyed or recruited by the Axis right now. Lay Mattress firing. Can it bring the game back for Mr. Who? Oh, it's firing the leaks. That's a bummer. I thought I was going to be firing at this big old blob of team weapons over here, which I think it would have been more efficient, because it would have been closer, would have been able to get the wipes, perhaps, um, and also would have given them the opportunity to get back the fuel, but instead, he has killed two members of one league crew. League crew already on 14 kills, wow.
Checking over what's going on in the east of the map. Um, Doc really just holding the team together. Holding together team allies right now. Um, well done to him. Really pushing back Falk almost to his base. Falk's only holding really one or two territory points here. Do have a T-34 on the field from Mr. Mailman. Good to see some somewhat regular build order from him. I mean, somewhat. We've got two conscripts, one squad of elite infantry, two MGs, and a mortar. I guess that's not that regular. Um, I don't even know what like three, three, four, four team orders, team blah, 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 build orders look like for Soviets. I guess just build early mortars. If I were a Soviet player who played big team games, I would probably pick something with the 120 mm mortar and just go with a standard start plus a 120 mil mortar when I have the command points for it. So like three college scripts, two engineers, uh, into 120 mil mortar. Oh, that might be too late even, who knows. This T-34 is having a time over here. Damage engine. Managed to kill a few 10 models though so far. There seems to be no anti-tank to speak of, besides the snares on the Panzer Fusiliers. I think the Stern Pioneers probably should upgrade, but they do not have enough munitions. Another shot coming out from the land mattress. Firing at nothing. So far, 2346 MVP of this game, along with Doc over here. I've been neglecting Doc. He's doing such a good job, but sometimes you're doing a good job. It's not interesting to watch, is it? Did he lose his stewards? It seems like he may have lost his steward, and I did not notice that. My apologies. I'm assuming it died to the pack gun, which has one vehicle kill. Yes, he did. Good job to Falk over there. I am enjoying this debacle, this chaos that's happening in the western part of the map. League now on 16 kills. Do have, again, a pretty standard build here from Mr. Mamman with the SUT conscripts. That means he has gone for airborne, which was obvious, actually, from the airborne guards. Although Terror also has access to the airborne guards. Oh, that could be a wipe! Oh no, the leagues! Chaotic. Alright. What is Mr. Who going to do to get back in this game? Is he going to spam more land mattresses? Land matri, I think is the correct plural of mattress. Matri. Cactus, cacti, mattress, matri. Um, Doc? What is Doc going for? What is he going for? Is he saving for the Pershing? Seems like he might be saving for the Pershing. He does not have a major on the field yet, uh, which he has to get before he is able to call in the purging. Uh, big Katusha shots from Mr. Mailman. Four kills, not bad, not bad. Probably more than the land mattress has. Land mattress has got two kills, so one shot from the Katusha has equaled, you know, two shots at least from the land mattress. I believe that was the airborne Colin. Not sure why. Maybe he thought there were mines there. Can use that strafe to detonate mines, I believe. Um, cars airborne do have smoke, which they should pop right now. But they're not going to. Land mattress, you get kills that one. 
Oh, there's a second land mattress. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eight kills on one. Zero kills on the second one. Just destroying this... Like, what, an oil refinery area or fluid storage area or whatever that is. D4 has been snared to the divorce 76. Probably... Not gonna be able to finish it off. Oh, maybe. I spoke too soon. Let's see. Oh, bounce, bounce, bounce. Could call this German tackle rocket run. That'd be a perfect time for it. Rocket run. Call it in. Do it. No, Mr. Mailman. Why? Oh, and he loses the T-34 as well. He could have easily killed the P-4 if he had called in tactical Sermovic rocket strike. IL-2 Sermovic rocket run. Why am I saying tactical? There's no word. Oh, it is. Tactical IL-2 Sermovic rocket run. That's a very long name for a billion. Could have been called rocket run or IL-2 rocket run. Um, yeah, that would have easily taken out the P4, and probably would have got away with the T-34. That was a big, 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 big fuck-up from Mr. Mailman. So I'm just hoping to got, oh, I was about to say, I'm hoping to got we don't see a third land mattress, and we do. We do see a third land mattress opening up. How cool are those things? Wow. Enemy threatening a capture point. This one is on nine kills, not so bad. Land mattress is the new meta for big team games. Before. All right, I think uh, Mr. Mayland does not understand what that IL-2 sort of rock run is actually for. I think. I think he is, uh, was using it for anti-infantry duties, when in fact, it is an anti-tank rocket run. As it says there, IL-2 Sturmwick will strafe the location with powerful anti-tank rockets, effective against vehicles. Yeah, so definitely not effective against infantry. Another lane mattress firing here. Not able to deal with those leagues so far. Gonna need a couple more land magic shots to deal with them. Oh! Oh! Ooh, one of them does go down. I think that was Vet 3, wasn't it? Another 234, very low here from the Pack 40. Ooh, firing at ground. Not quite hitting, though. Uh, it does sound like Artie of some flavor. To my eyes, Artie. Oh, there is Artie Pete out from Falcon, who has gone for Storm Dodge. It's a pretty good team game, team game doctrine, if you ask me. It gives you the uh, ambush training, which I think is very nice. Smoke bombs, gear command squad, as we saw earlier. The Leffa, and the Stuka bombing strike. Tiger Ace on the field from Kofla. Kofla. I think that's his first tank. Another classic team game move there. First tank, Tiger Ace. I'm rushing Tiger Ace is probably the... Most common team game chat that I see. Some variation of that. I'm rushing Tiger. I'm rushing Elephant. I'm rushing Tiger Ace. I'm rushing King Tiger. There's always some variant of that that I see in these 44 games. I think just having a you know more tanks earlier on the field would have been really beneficial for uh, Kofler here, actually. Kofler, Kofler, Kofler. I'm saying it like a German, but I'm not German at all. Um, do a broom bar out from Falk. See, like, uh, yeah, a broom bar would have been really useful earlier in the game here for uh, the Axis. That is so loud, these team games, too. There's always something shooting. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I can barely hear myself. The forward position is under attack. Oh my god, another forward assembly. Kill me. Oh, Rocket Strikes being used on the Tiger. See how effective that was? That was a huge amount of damage they just did. P4 snared. More land mattress shots. Still on nine kills. Oh, this one's on nine kills as well. This one's on two. We see the just efficiency of these land mattress here. 
Probably should repair a little bit further back. I uh, do have self-repair activated, I think, as well. Vehicle repairs. Now it's done over here, I heard over here. Molotov. Oh, looks so nice. The flame effects in this game really do look great. Three-star two millimeter mortar squad. Pretty nice. Allies are just getting overwhelmed, though, in the west. Probably due to the lack of infantry from Mr. Who. These are not going to hold. That was a... Uh, not very accurate to shut. Guard to airborne upgrade with the Pepe Shahs. I tend to upgrade them with the DPs. Uh, they do have access to three DPs, which is a huge number of DPs. Although the Pepe Shahs do give them the DPS of the shock troops, so it is pretty high. This 23476 is definitely going to get knocked out. And there it goes. Do have the Pershing out from Doc. Oh, I hear a bomb coming down. I hear a bomb coming down. Is it on this blob? Is it on the Major? Where is it? It was on the Major. Oh, he lives, though. AT gun does go down. Stolen AT gun. More fucking land mattress rockets being shot. See, that would have been a good spot for a bomb. Oh, that would have been juicy. Approaching are about to take out the scout car, but not quite. Oh, Sniper just takes a big old Pershing shot to the face. Major Koenig is down. Pershing not seen that often nowadays because the I believe the AOE was nerfed on it, and so its wipe potential was also nerfed a little bit. Although it is doing a good job of wiping things right now, so... Uh, what am I talking about? And more land mattress. Is that a new one? No, it's not a new one. <sighs> Thought I'd build a fourth one for a second. This is almost ASMR, but it actually might be the opposite of ASMR. This might be. Oh my god. Extremely aggravating sounds. We fucking get it already! Stop! Ooh. I think this is uh, why people hate Brits so much. I think this exact game, or this type of game, is why people do not think the Brits are a legit faction and they get made fun of all the time. I say this as a Brit player, I play everything, but I do play a lot of Brits. Um, but yeah, this is definitely why they get a bad rap. Just building emplacements and artillery the whole time. A strafe called down from the God's Airborne. This could be a nice juicy grenade if the Airborne get up there. Grenade out. That's going to be yeah, one league down. The second one might go down as well. We need to actually destroy the league, though. Please find something. SU-85 could destroy it, for example. What's going on over here? Pershing versus... Oh, my God. The Yag Tiger from Herr Victor. Oh, the Pershing taking a big shot to the face. Pershing's got to get out of there. What a weird looking tank. It's like an alien. Pershing, not very used in World War II, actually, and more used in Korea. I'm not sure how many, if any, actually served um, in battle in World War II. I'm guessing very few. There's a lot of tanks in this game, which <laughs> saw very little actual service in World War II. Uh, Oswin comes to mind. The Oswin, I think like 11 of them or something like that were built during uh, World War II. Somebody Wikipedia that. Check me. But uh, some extremely small number of Oswins were built during World War II. 
Oh, SUV-5 does go down to the pack. This pack is just a monster. Oh, and it's dead now. <laughs> Spoke a little too soon. I'm trying to think, what would I do against all of these right now? Well, I think in combination with uh, Falcon, they can pretty easily take him out. If they just get a little bit of recon over here, for example, Panzer Fusilier, Shoots of Flare, or... What else do they have here? You can even use the smoke bombs for sight. Um, <clears throat> and then drop the big old Stuka bomb on them. That would be a lot of manpower down. Big push here from Falcon and Herr Richter together. Rumbar does some pretty heavy damage on 23 kills at the moment. I think. Ooh, yeah, he does have a Panther coming out. That is a good combo, always. The Panther and Broom Bar. You got everything you need there. Anti-tank, anti-infantry, anti-everything. Here it goes. Here it goes. These recovery engineers, by the way, could be salvaging this wrecked tank. And I think you can get, like, 10 fuel? Something around there? 10, 12 fuel for uh, wrecked medium tanks? It's actually a good video idea later. How much fuel do you get from the Royal Recovery Engineer salvage building? Good lord, that is obnoxious. Luckily, he's terrible with them. Panzer River, please tell me that's firing at those. Please, please, Lord. It is. Only takes out a single model, though. That is frustrating. And almost died to uh, land mattress barrages. Falcon has. Pretty soundly taking the side, although there's a lot of infantry coming to try to take it back. Pershing is still not repaired. Pershing is only one of two USF tanks that cannot pop out uh, the crew. So only the Calliope and the Pershing are unable to use their own crews to repair. Oh boy. Mr. Who here trying to drop a heavy gam bomb on what? I just noticed that we have a uh, 251 half track set up with the mobile observation post, which of course detects units and engages camouflage. Kind of like a map pack mobile. That is a very badly placed SUV5, about to get smashed. And it is down. Uh, rocket strafe hits the Yag Tiger a little bit. Why are we not repairing the Pershing? Get some... Have some idle rear echelons that could be repairing some Pershings. Don't pick that up. Yeah, I generally don't like to pick up anti-tank weapons with my uh, anti-infantry units. For example, this guy has a bazooka. Um, yeah, I like to keep my units dedicated to one thing. It's anti-infantry unit, it's anti-infantry unit, it's anti-tank, then it's anti-tank. I don't like to mix and match my my units. Guards airborne about to go down in the building, and they're dead. I think the writing is on the wall here for the whew, for the allies. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Bofors going to go down here. Do have assault artillery called down from Herr Richter. That's gonna be big. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Move. Move. Okay, it's actually killing surprisingly little. That was the least effective assault artillery I've ever seen in my life. That should have been getting massive amounts of kills, but it got like what? One squad, maybe? Oh my god, that would be 
very upset if I was Mr. Richter there. Alright, back to speeding up a little bit. The enemy have destroyed a forward I cannot team. believe all of those land matches are still alive after that assault artillery barrage. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, where are they going? Where are they going? Mr. Richter, deal with them. Shooting at Falcon over here. They are going to be dealt with right now, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a mistake. What's this guy doing over here? Has been destroyed. Oh no. Yep, that is gotta be the end. Pershing the just now getting crew. repaired, I guess. <laughs> Built the utility car in order to get the crew to repair the Pershing. Does he not understand that rear echelons can also repair? I think he might not know that. I think he might not know that rear echelons can repair tanks. Yep. Yeah, the Leffa now being called down on the forward emplacement over here. Oh boy. Yeah, Broombard is having its way with Doc's infantry. Yep, one of them has dropped. Mr. Who, the British player, has dropped. Pershing doing pretty well over here, though. We're down to 75 goddamn points. The other players are going to fight to the end, though, it seems. For what reason, I do not know. You know, I don't think these guys were actually an arranged team, Mr. Malin and Mr. Who. What a strange coincidence. They both have Mr. in their name. And times eight. Game is almost over here. I think we can call it All right now. Um, yeah. Lessons learned from this game, guys. If you're playing Brits, don't be ridiculous. Don't rely only on emplacements and forward assemblies and that kind of crap. You should actually build infantry. You should build infantry. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that you probably shouldn't just rush heavy tanks like the Pershing over here. Yeah, uh, so that was a uh, oh, fun game with a lot of lessons to be learned there. Again, from the Allies, Mr. Who, just completely useless. Uh, sadly, just did not help his team out at all. A little bit at the beginning with that Vickers was pretty pretty useful, pinning down units on the fuel, but once that got killed, he just collapsed and did not have enough infantry, did not have enough engineers to repair his three forward emplacements or whatever he built during the game, plus mortar pits. His land mattresses almost never killed anything, didn't actually get any wipes, or very few, um, <clears throat> and then just sacrificed themselves in the middle of the map, like, um, I don't know, it's a desperation move, or maybe he's just done playing. Um, good job from Doc overall. I think maybe the Pershing wasn't the right call. It's a little bit underwhelming in most scenarios, I find. Team games, Scott's and Jackson's are the meta. Um, they're extremely effective. As a combo, you know, Scott's being able to fire over obstacles and kill team weapons and kill anything, really, kill any kind of infantry, while the Jacksons keep the enemy tank destroyers at bay. Um, <clears throat> I also think they lacked good call-ins, the, um, the Allies did. The only call-in they really had was the IL-2 Sturmovic, tactical IL-2 Sturmovic rocket run, um, which... Didn't end up doing that much, especially because he called on an infantry a couple times. Uh, they needed some kind of loiter or something to scare off these big um, Axis tank blobs. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please like and subscribe. See you next time.